Hello everyone! Today we will be determining or calculating the sum of an arithmetic series. So this is represented as S of N for the uh, sum. So these are the two formulas over here and these are their um, descriptions down here below. Let's take, let's jump into the first example right here on the side. Okay, so find the sum of the series 21 plus 15 plus 9 plus 3 plus negative 3. So we're going to use each of these equations and whichever you would want to use, the, the answer is still the same. So um, let's start with this one right here first. So let's take the first um, equation. Okay, so we have um, S of N. Let's plug in the values. So that's S of N equals the N refers to the number of terms. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be five over two. Uh, bracket 2 times A1 is the first term, which is 21. And then plus D is the difference. How much does it grow by? In this problem, it's a minus 6 because this is 21. It goes 15, so it's, it's a minus 6 each time. So I'm just going to write that over there so you can see where we got these numbers from. So that is a negative 6. And then our n again is the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1. So that's the that's how we set up our equation. The next thing that we do is just do the math here. So this is 2.5, and then that's a bracket. This is 42. 42, then we have a, um, then we're going to add, uh, this is going to be a negative, so we distribute the negative 6 to each term inside the parentheses. So we can go ahead and say this is negative 30. So that's a negative 30, and then that's a plus 6. Okay, because we have a um, negative 6 times 5 is a negative 30. And then um, negative 6 times negative 1 is a positive 6. So then we can go ahead and say 2.5 times, that's 42 minus 30 is 12, plus 6 is 18. So this is 18, and so the answer that we have for this would be that's 2.5 times 18 is 45. So this is the sum for this um, series. Now let's use the other equation right here. So let's have the other equation, S of N. So the second equation is pretty straightforward. So we have um, N over 2. So that would be 5 over 2 times A1 is the first term. So that's 21 plus the last term is the a of n is the last term so which is negative 3 so that is 2.5 times 18 uh, 21 plus negative 3 is 18 and so our s of n is still 45 so they are a match so both of them are a match that means these you can use any of these two equations now let's use the calculator to check if these numbers that we have here match it match up with the calculator. So we have um, 21 plus 15 plus 9 plus 3 plus negative 3. And the answer that we have is 45. It's a match. Let's move on to the second example right here. So we find the sum of this series, that's 3 plus, we can see that over there. Um, there are two steps to do this, but we will, let's jump into the second step so you would know why do we need the first step for this. Okay, so we find the sum. So other, again, you can use any of the equations that we have for the sum here. It doesn't matter. Uh, it depends on the problem. So I, I'll take the second um, equation. So that is... S of N, so I'm going to write here S of N is equal to, I count the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so, but there are some missing parts right here. So that means I don't know the N here, which is the number of terms, but I know it's divided by 2, and then I know that the first term here is 3, and then the last term is 83. 
but then I don't know what is the N. N here refers to the number of terms. I know I can go ahead and fill this up, 27, because as you can see from here, um, this, um, so 11 minus 3, this one goes by 8. So I can go ahead and fill that in. But there is an easy way to determine the number of terms. We don't know how many are left over over here so that we can count them. So we can actually uh, rewrite this. So 27 plus 8 would be 35 and then plus and so on until you get 83. But that is, it works only if there are only a few numbers. But what about if it goes to thousands and hundreds of thousands? It's going to be difficult to do. So that means we need to use an equation in order to find for n and in the uh, first part i have um, um others are going to ask how do we how do we find the n for this we find the equation that would work for this one here so that is the t of n is equal to the difference times the n minus the zeroth term b again others are going to say how did you get this what is this equation you can go back to the other videos, this this, uh, this is taken over there. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So uh, in the TFN here, so as you can see, I want to determine the N. So I want to know what is this term? Is this a hundredth term? Is this a seventh term? What is this? So TFN, I'm just going to plug it in here. So 100, in, um, that's 83 equals i want to know what is this term that would tell me how many n's there are the difference here is eight and i am looking for n minus the zeroth term so i go backwards one time so three minus eight is a negative five this is the zeroth term again there is i will put the link on how we got this equation in the description box below so this is um this is a negative five okay so that's a negative five right there it's negative five because i went i went backwards one time so then i'm gonna add um three from both sides here i'm sorry plus five and then plus five here so this would come out 88 equals 8n and so i divide eight from both sides divide eight here so then our n for 83 is 11. So this is actually 11th term, which means that there are 11 numbers total. And that makes sense because if we continue this one, this would go to 43 and then 51 and then it should go to 59, then it should go to 67, then it should go to 75, and it's gonna go to 83. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, but then again, that would be difficult to do if this goes thousands, and so we need to use a formula. So this one right here is 11, so this is 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 and then 83 times plus 3 is 86 and so this is 473 is our s of n and we can check this one out using the calculator so that would be um uh, 3 plus 11 plus 19 plus 27 plus 35 plus 43 plus 51 plus 59 plus 67 plus 75 plus 83 and that is 473 is the total. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!